So Littlewood looks relaxing and is in certain ways, until you want to unlock everything as efficiently as possible and you only have so much energy to waste. Welcome to any game guys, today we're listing all the things you should do every day in Littlewood, so you can get the town you want a little smoother. First thing you need to do is to go get yourself a buddy. Now run around to your town, decide which of your villagers you want running behind you all day and ask them to hang out with you. Now this is important as they can find random dewdrops as you perform tasks and this can be a major way to get cash in the beginning so be sure to never walk alone. Try to talk to all villagers since you never know when they may have a blueprint or some other kind of gift for you. Now while you're talking and deciding on your buddy for the day, decide who you want to give a compliment today since you only get one to give each day. Next up let's decide what you want to focus on today. Now if you've already built yourself a desk in your house, check it out, see what personal goals you can still complete or go to the quest board or just check your inventory and see what materials you need more of to build your stuff or upgrade your buildings. Now deciding on what you want to work towards today helps out a lot with the next part. Go over to the coffee shop, now every day you can get a free donut or coffee that will increase your mastery of one specific task. So you haven't maximized mining for out for example, but that's what you want to do, be sure to pick up this boost. Now before I go any further I just want to mention that you can always hit me up on Twitter or join our Discord channel if you have any more questions, links to all that in the description down below. And if you want to play a role in which indie game gets a series of guides next, I often organize polls and open questions to our community page, so be sure to subscribe so you know when to cast your vote. Now let's move on to the next point. Are you still running around town? Great. Check out every building and donate what you can. Now that way you may unlock the next perk and that being an upgrade for the building or just receiving 3 rare items. If you decided to do some crafting today, you may also choose to do this right before you go to bed. That way you get your upgrades a day sooner. As you're running around and you don't really keep up with the calendar like me, do your rounds. Now check out the marketplace, see if any events are going on. Also look for any meteorites who may have dropped during the night, have any purple chests with goodies appeared or have any goblins or travelers stumbled into your town. Because talking to goblins and other travelers may end up with getting gifts from them. Time for your daily farming life. Now feed any hungry animals you may come across, get what they're offering you. Be sure to also water your flowers, harvest any ripe crops and pick any fruit hanging from trees. Don't forget to collect your good drops to from the marketplace, the research box and the tavern. That way the next point on our agenda gets a little bit more interesting. While you're in the tavern, check out the new daily recipe, craft it once to add it to your recipe book for easy access later on, but also fill up the marketplace with items to sell and the pantry of the tavern with food, because I'm sure you will want to find some dew drops in the morning to collect after all. Now if it's Wednesday or Saturday, head to your office and check out the available wishes. Here you can get upgrades like having more energy, increase the quantity of crops or fruit trees you can have, the value of weeds or the amount of dew drops certain villagers can find while following. These upgrades are probably the best ones to unlock and should never be forgotten. If it's not Wednesday or Saturday or you still have some dew drops laying around after that, head over to the shop and see what they're offering. Now unlocking as many of the available furniture, wallpaper or floorings as possible can give you some options. For example, decorating the houses of your villagers more to their likings and get dewdrops in return. Now to know what they want, just build them a desk in their houses and check out what they want. If you have anything left at the end of the day, you can head into the endless forest or dust caverns to find some chests or talk to NPCs who may have something for you. Now all this takes no energy and when you visit all these places don't forget to donate whatever you can at these points as well. After that just focus on what you decided to focus on for that day, go make use of that boost you got at the coffee shop and don't forget, when you're out of energy just stop whatever you're doing and return to your home for a good night's rest, because you'll need it when the cycle starts back again the next day. And that's about everything you should do each day to get your town upgraded as quickly as possible. Are you feeling the pressure yet? I hope you found this guide useful and if you did be sure to give 
the video a thumbs up so other people can find it too. And consider subscribing if you want to see more guides from your favorite indie games, just like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. What? What? What?